make a ghost chasing deal, but you know, cause I know. Hang on. What did you say? I will make a ghost chasing deal with her. God knows she likes some fun. You make a what? I will ghost chase with her. Oh, negotiate. Negotiate. Shannon and Thomas have been married for three years. They believed their love would help them glide over all the bumps in the road. But now, it seems their marriage has been a wild ride. So she's brought up baby. And don't think she shouldn't have held to me. Or she shouldn't have held whole sex for me. So he'll keep pressing and push, pushing himself on me. And I grab him by the arm. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my Shannon believes she's losing her grip on her marriage and wonders if it can be saved. Today, on Divorce Court. Come to order. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lynn Toller presiding. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here with Shannon Jones and Thomas Eccles. The two of you have been married for three years, and you've come here today to see if your marriage can be saved. If you cannot come to an agreement and save this marriage, you have some financial issues you want me to resolve, and we will deal with that if that is appropriate later on. But before that, Ms. Jones, I'm going to start with you. Why don't you tell me a little bit about your marriage and why we're here today? Good to meet you, too, Ms. Ms. Tully. But this man is arrogant, he's selfish, and self-centered, and uh, he, he manipulates me with the Bible, and he wants to get on me about my weight, and who is he to talk? <laughs> now, give me a story that would tell me about his arrogance. Okay. First of all, the arrogance that he does manipulates me with the Bible. Everything, the whole, our whole relationship, marriage, he wants to tell me, well, you got to, the, uh, the Bible say do this. You got to be submissive to me. If I won't say you're supposed to do this, I mean, you know, well, what are you going to do for me? I can't, he won't do anything I ask him to do. It's all about him. Why don't you address for me what she just told me just told about me. your use of the Bible and her, your controlling? Well, I don't use the Bible to control. The Bible tells her why to be submissive to your husband or obey your husband. I, I tell her to be obedient to me for the things, you know, I'm being a provider for her, so she's supposed to obey me and do okay. the thing. She okay. shouldn't really help to me. Um, she shouldn't really help hold sex for me. You always carry, accuse me of cheating and things. Okay. So, so do you believe that part of the obedience that the Bible requires is that she must consent to sex with you whenever you request it? Is that what I'm not hearing? Not actually all the time, but hey. But most of the time. Most of the time, she my wife. If she accused me of cheating all the time, if I leave the house, I'm going to meet somebody. If I go around the corner, I'm meet somebody. So why don't you provide me with my needs if you feel that I'm cheating? The thing in the Bible where it says submit to your husband, about two verses long. They got <laughs> nine for the guy. <laughs> now I want to transition into the issue about your weight. You say that he gives you problems about your size. When, when, I, when I met him, I, I was still on the heavy side, but well, maybe maybe about 20 pounds lighter, but it did, it makes mm -hmm. a big difference. So he say, I don't like no big women. Okay, but he was never small when I met him. He was <laughs> still big. He, he gets on me about my weight, but he can't, he can't talk, and you can see that. But now we have a lot of incidents at the gas station where he's always disrespectful. He's, he disrespects me. Well, let's, I'm going to finish with the weight, and then we're going to get to the disrespect. Mr. Okay. Eccles, do you mess with her about her weight? Well, Your Honor, I'm going to be honest with you. You know, I just be doing a little, being a little sarcastic. My baby's pretty fine. She's pretty fine. Yes, ma'am. Now, do you tell her she's pretty fine yes, outside of a courtroom marina? Yes, ma'am. I tell her all the time. Beautiful do sexual. you mess with her about how heavy she, you believe she is? Your Honor, tell the truth. Yes, at times. When she agitate me or something, give me on the verge, tip me off. I ain't got yeah, to tell I, me I, I don't want no, I don't like big women. You know what, Mr. Eggers, let me tell you something. I'm, 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 I'm helping you out here too, brother. Just, I'm, I'm, I'm working, working on your side. Women who do not feel good about their body will not feel good about having sex. So if you are the person selling her, your body ain't right, you are the person who's not going to get any of that body. <laughs> so I, I'm just saying, if you're looking, I'm trying to get you a little bit of what you want. Okay, let's start talking about disrespect, Ms. Jones. You wanted to tell me about how he's disrespecting you. <laughs> well, we went to, I went in the gas station to put the gas, to pay for the gas. I come out, 
he had his, the phone to his ear, so I said, baby, who are you talking to? Why are you always hollering about want to know who I'm talking to? This is my so-and-so phone. And then whoever I'm talking to, that's my business. And, you know, and I'm, I'm like, well, what? And everybody's out there pumping gas and looking because he just said it so loud. They looking over there and I was like, what's going and on? She didn't want to pay for no gas. She didn't want to pump the gas. But when I ain't with her, y'all, who pump her gas? Who mm -hmm. pay for the gas when I ain't with her? But she get with me. I got to do all this much. She know, I, like she said, well, I ain't going to I know I'm a superstar. Does she cook? Don't you see? Yeah. <laughs> now, 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 now I'm, I, I do see, and apparently she's a good cook. Good cook. But I yep. will say this, Joe, at my house, I cook, and if I'm with my husband, he pumps gas. How does that work at your house? Same way. You Same see, way. everybody. All the time. Yeah, all the time. <laughs> I don't get out, but he doesn't get in the kitchen, and I don't get out the car. See what I'm saying? So well, that's how it's even. Excuse me. I get in the kitchen. Well, she told me, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm in there chef, young. I'm chef. Oh, so you, but you can I, burn. I can but burn. But did you hear what he said? He was speaking to say, I taught him. Wait, see, we, I done taught him a lot of things since I've been with him. When divorce court continues, has this marriage turned out to be a pig in a poke? She got mad with ham on me. And with ham on you? Yes, ma'am. Well, I don't remember what he was speaking about. Yeah. Shannon Jones, who claims her husband Thomas is verbally abusive. But that's not all Shannon accuses Thomas of. You do believe he's cheated on you, don't you, Miss Jones? Now, Mr. Echo, Mr. Echo, tell me about how she nags. You know, I'm doing everything for her, y'all. Mm -hmm. Really, I am. Mm -hmm. I'm providing. I really pay them bills. Mm -hmm. I was saying about last, she was nagging. She was nagging so mad, she got so mad at me, she quit her job. So I paid the house note, the life bill. I didn't pay that car she Did you get so mad you quit your job? Because he got mad because I worked overtime. And when I got home, he was verbally abusing, uh, verbally abusing, calling me all kind of night. Why you late? Why you did? He been, he come. Did you and fight every, for working Every time overtime? I work, yeah. every job I have. I asked her some questions. She got sassy to me. That ain't about she working over. I, I don't care. When I got home, I would ask her what was going on. She was getting sassy. Were you cool, though? When you just said, you didn't say, what's going on, baby? Yeah, I'm say, cool, y'all. No, no. I'm going to tell you what it was, y'all. I know this real good now. I said, baby, why you hadn't called me? Why you know you so late getting in? My phone was off at that she, time. And she, and she was saying something crazy to me, y'all. And she was yeah, sitting back there on the computer in the back room, talking outside her neck. Uh, I ain't going to lie. Let's move on to another topic. You do believe he's cheated on you, though, don't you, Miss Jones? Yeah, because of the thing, the way he acts and the things that he say, you know. Uh, Give me an example. Well, for example, when he goes somewhere, he comes back with a whole tip, different attitude when I call him. Baby, where you at? Why you keep calling me? What you get? I said, you must be, you must, a woman must be around. Do you have uh, any specific evidence or information well, that would lead me to call. believe he's actually done the wrong thing? I haven't seen it, but he gets phone calls, and he pretends he never knows who these women are or who this person is calling. And one lady asked him, I just called you to go to the, uh, to see if you go to the casino with me. He said, uh, oh, baby, I don't know who that is. She got the wrong number. He hung up in a bank. <laughs> I, I, I said, how you know? going? I, I, I said, nothing. She know what number she called. Let me ask you another question, Mr. Eccles. I understand that you're upset about she bought you a car, and now she wants you to repay her for it? No, I bought that car. You she bought got, the car. Yeah, I went to the car next door to a mama house, and, and I, I purchased. She got made. Then my uh, kid's mama called me with some rims. So I said, well, I'll get a car and put some rims on it. They're going to sell at least 25 to 3,000. She got mad with ham on me. 
and went ham on you? Yes, ma'am. What, what, what talking ma'am? ballistic? Because I don't remember what he talking be, about. She was talking ham ballistic. Ham. What's talking about ham? me and the kids, mama doing something. I went over there, got the rims, come back, put on. I bought the car. Miss Mr. Went. Echoes, I'm still talking about the ham. <laughs> <laughs> what does it mean going ham on somebody? <laughs> talking crazy, getting delirious. Getting delirious. Yes, ma'am. Did you get delirious, Miss Jones? I never get upset with him about him going to do anything with uh, his she family lying. members. She lying, about young. Money. The only thing I get I get upset about is when he say he's gonna give me some money and he don't do it. He he'll brag about it of what what he got. Spread money on the bed and everything. Tell me what he got. Yeah, you broke. You ain't got this. I'm like, how is we married? It's what you got is supposed to be mine too. When divorce court continues, does Shannon take the law into her own? Ghost chasing deal, but you know, cause I wait, know wait, she. Hold, hold, hang on. <laughs> what, what did you just say? I will make a ghost chasing deal with her. Cause I know she you likes a fun. You make a what? A ghost chasing deal with her. <laughs> ghost chasing <laughs> deal? Ghost chasing. Who? I will ghost chase with her. Oh, negotiate. Negotiate. Yeah. Let, <laughs> <me tell. laughs> wow. Let me tell. Let me tell. Negotiated deal. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, can I tell you why he want to negotiate with me? What, what does he want to negotiate? He nego he want to say that's what he's talking about. He want to negotiate sex. He know he have he have been mean to me that day. Uh -huh. So he'll come in there want to be nice. He's like I don't forget. He try you know. So he'll want to have sex or something. And I said you got to be kidding. I said you don't get out my face. You know. But baby, you my wife. You can't keep this from me. You can't do it. I said, well, you know, I, I said, you, you, it's not happening right now. So he'll keep pressuring, push, mm. pushing himself on me. And I grab him by the ball. Oh, you like that, y'all? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I have your hand pulled. <laughs> See, hey, Shay, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You handle his situation? I, I sure do. <laughs> she I sure do. And if he don't stop, they will. I, yeah. 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 I do. She I get my situation. Sweet, I go around. Oh, 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 oh. I have to walk you around yeah, like she, that. I, I do. I, I won't lie to you, young. She I walked do. me around out for a minute. It used to be two. It feel like it's four. <laughs> they so shocked. See, she did. Everybody grab. They go to make me holler. Miss well, Jones, Miss Jones. <laughs> at no time is it okay to enter that area. Hey, okay. Well, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I love okay, you, Miss. Okay, well, at no time should he. Uh, insist that he have me. This is true. Why um, don't you tell me, Ms. Jones, what for you was the thing that made you decide to end this marriage? Why? All right, out of so many different incidents throughout the, these years that, that we've been married, the thing that, that broke the, the camel's back is that when I had to pick a family member up from work, right, he wouldn't let me out the garage to go and pick, pick up my family member. So, I had called my family member to come and get me because, you know, he was uh, being verbally abusive and stuff, and I, I left, and uh, that would I stayed gone about a month. So I was just tired of all the 
n bad name calling. You, you, you're hurt. You, you, yeah, you, very you feel hurt. injured. You're very because hurt. Because you don't feel valued in your own I home. I really don't. Because I can tell, because it's hurting you. You, you, you just about to cry. <laughs> do, and, and, and Mr. Eccles, do you see that? I, w yeah. I want you to see what's on her face. I want you to see that, okay? Yes, I want you to see that. When divorce court continues, did Thomas damage Shannon's property when she decided to leave? I asked him would he pack my um, computer up because I need it. And he said that he will. He packed it up. Baby, I said, baby, you know you broke the computer. Mr. Evans, what is your response to that? Do you believe a wife should submit to her husband? and vote now and see if America agrees with your opinion. You'll also receive some valuable offers. Call now. Divorce Court returns in the case of Shannon Jones and Thomas Eccles, who three years after tying the knot want to know, can this marriage be saved? Ms. Jones, if, if, this, if this marriage can't be saved... It can't be. You, I, you, you, I'm you, just tired of you, it. You, you, you ready to roll? I am. I, I'm going to give some suggestions about that momentarily, but before you do that, and I let's talk about... And I to pay for my computer. That, well, that's what we're about to talk about. Mm -hmm. uh, $500 you want for the value of your computer, which you say Mr. Eccles broke while packing up her things mm -hmm. to go live... I was with my ...when you're going to go live with your mm -hmm. family member's house. Yeah. Why don't you tell me about that incident? Well, I had, I was already at my family member's house, and I called him. I asked him would he pack my um, computer up because I need it. And he said that he will. He packed it up, but when he brought it, he had the uh, the printer on top of the monitor. Mm -hmm. So when I hooked, hooked it up right. and everything, the screen didn't come on. So I called him, and I said, um, so I, I was, I still called him baby or whatever. I said, well, baby, I said, baby, you know you broke the computer. Uh, no, I didn't know it. And I said, yes, you did. And so I said, well, it's, it's not showing a picture now. And he was on it when mm -hmm. I was talking to him. And so that's the computer, mm -hmm. and that's the monitor. Mm -hmm. You say that monitor no longer works. It no longer works. Since he packed it up and brought it to you. Right. Since he was it working when you last saw it at the house? Yeah, and he was on it when I was talking to him to tell him to bring it to me. Okay, Mr. Eccles, what is your response to well, that? I didn't really, I didn't intentionally messed the computer up, <laughs> and we put it in the car. Now, what I can't say, we might have hit a bump or something going and taking it to mm -hmm. her mom and dad out. Right. Possibly. Right. I didn't try to break a computer. I went that mad. I don't think you did. I yeah. don't think you tried but to. But I'll buy one. Yeah. And I should have mine, because yeah. I don't know how to work no computer anyway. Well, Mr. Eccles, <laughs> I, I appreciate that. Um, here's what I'm going to say to you. You want to keep your wife. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. I know you do. And, and she's sick of you. And let me tell you why. I really and then let me tell you what to do if you want to get her back. First of all, she ain't coming back right now. You've got to court and date this woman. You have got to, oh yeah. Blow some more money? Yeah. <laughs> oh, well that's the second thing I was going to exactly say. What you don't have that a, blowing money it, when Ms. Jones, it on I'm me. trying to help you out. Okay. Mr. Eccles, money and love are not the same thing. Everything is economic with you. Every time I talk about anything, nagging or, or br you always talk about money. That's not what it's about. A woman feels value in her heart, and she feels, I'll put that hand down, and, and she feels it based on, she judges herself by what you say to her. And when you call her out a name, when you call her fat, when you make her feel less than, when you pick at her, when you whittle away, chip, 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 you ain't doing this right, you're doing it. You're tearing up the core of who she is. And it's hard to love a man who makes you feel like you're less than who you are. And you must quit. And you must quit verbally attacking and abusing her. Period. <laughs> End of story. you I wouldn't come back either I'd make this brother beg he needs to jump through some hoops he needs to crawl on the ground he needs to roll over and play dead if, if that's what you need him to do and he has to prove himself on a consistent ongoing basis that he can change and having said that I will say this I don't think the man intentionally broke that computer I think it happened in transit uh, it's nothing that I can hold him responsible for within the context of a divorce or anything there will be no recovery in this matter it is so ordered. All right. Parties may leave the court.